Let's try that again. I'm just gonna run straight to the Boko Shield this time and then turn around and get all the food. And that's been my plan. I have it in the back of my head of, you know, if you don't get the shield, what the fuck are you supposed to do for there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could give up and. Uh, I was gonna say you could give up and go Boko Shield, but you can't do that in all dungeons. You, you just don't have enough shield durability on that thing. Oh, there is a metal shield, um, right where we pick up the Dragon Bone Club before Yiga. That was the backup shield I was recommended we grab. It's on the same log, it's just like the club is on the far left side and the shield's on the far right side. I don't know why I'm doing this instead of practicing any percent, but... You're doing what you feel like doing. Don't feel guilty about it. I'm just like looking at the freaking Rudania split and just like dreading it. I just hope I get the flameproof lizard because it'll save me quite a few hearts. Uh, I still have to figure out because I saw it once, but I don't remember how exactly you end up getting into Gerudo. Like, I don't, I forget, like, I don't know where the BLS is supposed to dump you at, pretty mm. much. Yeah, there's like a little cut through in the mountains, and then you kind of turn to try to get as deep into the mountain as you can, and you gotta drop when you start burning. Come on. Game. Only took a minute. Stamina. Oh, well. Literally does not matter what time I get, I just need And I think I am gonna try to do this first run amiibo list. I think. We'll see. Because I don't think I need the backup food, because I grab a ton of extra peppers, even more than these. I grab these and this and... Ooh. As I was saying, um... See, did not expect to get hit there. Oh, you grabbed these peppers, I forget. I I started to, yeah, because that's my extra backup food. Oh, I just grabbed fucking everything. I grabbed the meat, I grabbed the mushrooms, I grabbed the peppers. Yeah, that's going to be my extra backup food instead of amiiboing. But I'm still tempted just to amiibo. Why'd I have to fucking get hit by that spinning thing already? Yeah, that clip is getting so much more consistent since I've started holding up. 
After we realized that in the Yiga hideout, I was like, wait, should I just be holding up for Stasis Clip too? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. God, do you know how weird it's going to be for me to try Bombs BTB? <laughs> Should just give up and just jogger my ass over there. I actually got it first try when I said fuck it. That when, uh, when I fucked up the barrel. It was pure coincidence, but... Like, I take no credit in it. But it felt good. Dude, let's go. 515 stasis. Speedy. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a gold. Let's go. Everything's gonna be a gold. And now for a pretty normal plateau. That sound old man. Remember what I said about not amiiboing? Yeah, fuck that. Dumb. Getting hit by that boulder. Dumb. Oh wow. Look at this, I can cook and attack up food. Hey, oh, wind blade is free. Yeah, let me, let me just do one more, why not? Wind blade or Koga? Honestly? If you're doing amiibo, fuck it, right? <laughs> Far left, I even said it out loud. I just didn't correct myself. Okay. It, if I'm amiiboing, there, there's one more amiibo I want to check. Because this dude drops a lot of good things for all dungeons. Ah, nothing. But he can drop durians, he can drop arrows, he can drop bomb arrows. Can drop bananas. Abravali. Oh yeah. What? Wait. Excuse me. Oh, I think they heard you sprinting. But only that one heard me. Hey, listen. They're pigs. <laughs> well, um, I think I can redo it with Volley then, right? There we go. There's a, a banana, a durian, and some arrows. I will take all that.
What the hell? Why are they just seeing me? Is it because I'm amiibo wing, maybe? Let me just try now. Yeah, I'm ready to go and just amiibo um, once you get to Magnesis. <laughs> Guess so, huh? Deep padded out. Uh, well, this is a great plateau. Ooh, we're on we're on to a nearly six minute cryo split. I even had time if I wanted to to um, all damage cancel with my shield there. I just my brain went eh, fuck it. Why? At least I can actually get this BTP like all day. Gonna be a close to seven minute cryo split. Oof. Time safe for next round. Yeah. And it's really instilling my confidence in the 2.30 here. I don't know. I gotta mute real quick. I'm good. Oh. Oh. 
I don't know why I tried to wiggle it instead of just spinning the whole way. This has got to be the worst part to have done in so long.
is that? So far, come on. And so begins the cutscene mania.
the tenth one? Please? Please? Hunter, anyone? I don't think it's gone. It's gone. Dang it. I wanted to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess by my timing, as soon as I get the cutscene, I suppose. Link. 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 Quello è uno dei colossi sacri che Ganon ci portò via cento anni fa. Devi trovare il modo di entrare al suo interno e liberarlo dal malefico rancore. Why this chain link's not completed? Link. Conto su di te. Okay, so three centurions all the others. Okay, what the... Good, super launch. Let's go.
Doesn't matter when I cook them. Did I really crit that? Is that why it gave me full recovery plus five? Yo. What's up? Perfecto. Sorry, work call. No. I what? didn't mean to be gone for a whole half an hour. <laughs> Nothing really happened. I mean, um, I got the super launch. I cooked all my extra food. Forgot to eat the cold resist food, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. I found out the hard way that if you miss all of your bomb arrows, you get sent back and he's like, go find me some more. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's like... Hey, you talk to him again, and he's like, fuck you, go find me some more bomb arrows. Yeah. That's pretty funny, actually. He's <laughs> all of mine. <laughs> um, I actually got five from a Revali drop after bombs, so... Yeah, my... No, I saw it watching. Uh, I was gonna uh, so yeah, my 21 minute plateau, but... I'm just happy I got the super launch the first try. I mean, kind of. I fell down, but I, I didn't even start the wind bomb yet. I just did all my durian cooking there, I don't really know why. I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. I don't care about splits, I just care about end time. Do you, um... Are you gonna go for the, for the bomb launch, or are you just gonna glide it there? Um, let's try. Nope. <laughs> Should not have tried that. This timing is apparently different, um, someone was trying to tell me. Because I've gotten a good mid here before, and then he just respawns you because you go too high. Oh. I don't really know what the best way to get to middle here is. I just kind of... I don't know if pumping's any faster, but at least it gives me something to do. No, in the unlisted AD run, he just literally glides, he doesn't even pump. Literally kind of close to. You said when the it's in the middle of the quiver. This one I do armpits, and then this one I do hips. Nah, I just missed that one too far left. But that one like rotates, so you have to aim. Oh wow. Okay. I thought that one was good, but. I mean, you have to account for it moving a little bit, but... I think I still have 14 left, and then I'm gonna grab the extra 5 just as safety. Cause yeah, like I said, it really does not take that long to grab them. It's like 10 seconds, maybe. Come on, load. Jesus. Oh, 
That's where I split. Oops. You split when he activates the terminal. Let's see if I get the change arrows prompt now. Do you notice it likes to give you the change arrow prompt like now? Come on. Yes, Ravali, I see where the terminal is. We're not going to touch it at all. Roll of this. Um, I think the bird side to side. Oh, it tilts. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that was good, yeah. I hate that so much. Come on, Link. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna. Don't be a dipshit, Link. Thank you. You don't understand how much I hate Link some days. Really? 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 Where are make sure to grab all of those arrows. Apparently you can make it onto that terminal from that wind outside, but I just never do. I don't... I shouldn't have Ragdoll, but I just want to quit it anyway. Totally where I wanted that one bomb to go. <laughs> I mean, it worked, I guess.
nera micidiale. Stai attento. I didn't land in here. Save the bomb arrow. So you would say you're pretty close to speed cap? No, not at all. Uh, I just... I'm more concerned about not dropping the BLSS and not destroying my thumb. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit... You'll see, like, I'm definitely off-center now, and when I lag, you see it snaps back to center, but... You can still definitely go faster. Don't forget to activate the tower this or the trying to stand dummy ass. I don't know how I literally stood on this pedestal and forgot to activate it. Okay. 
I don't like having to use Toy-Con, but I'm going to anyway. Midair is coming in handy. You really have to be able to do them quick to back up supers, though, otherwise, you just kill all your stamina. split there so I just split as soon as my rubies are going to going down. Maybe I should split on the groovy beat. sure I could super with back without the oasis seems to be laggier in general I don't is that not the worst feeling in the world <laughs> not getting bullet time and getting the great setup uh, getting everything just fine but then when you go to drop the square bomb you explode it somewhere else Honestly, for me, what's even worse is fat fingering your D-pad and thinking you uh, dropped the square bomb, but really never did, <laughs> and you blew yourself up. Done that a few times. Yeah. I need to get off to the right. I need to learn what the heck the optimal way to get over to this back right corner is if if I don't just get the wind bomb. I need to drop the Boca Boat on there. And then once you get it here, you'll just go straight to cutscene. Because apparently this is... The Corona. She's loaded in, don't worry about it. You're not gonna... It's fine. It's happened to me once, and now I'm gonna be forever worried about it. The thing is that if you go out of your way to get the bow and you come back that no, way, there's no that that's when I soft locked. How? I walked into the city, I didn't get the super, I grabbed the bow, I came in and she wasn't loaded. No. Yeah, and that's when I why I said to piston um that's kinda of stupid that even casuals can soft lock there and But yeah, that, that's why I'm fucking paranoid about it. I, I I agree that if you get that bow, you shouldn't have to worry about it, but... Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you can skip Reju's dialogue faster. I just mash the B as fast as I can. I really don't know what optimal te text mashing even looks like in this game. Oh. Ugh. Oh. 
Oh, what should I have for lunch? Nothing. You're right. Starving sounds like a really good plan. Yeah. Now we eat the eight one for some reason. I'm not quite sure why we do, but I do love starving. Um. Thanks, like I didn't want to chop down this tree anyway. I can get Denny for 50, 50 cents delivery fee. Yeah, but DoorDash charges you like 15% on top of menu price too, so is it really... F is it really 50 cent? And yeah, they're, 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 they're fucking... They do the whole fucking... Um, they tax you and then they charge you a $3.50 $3 service fee. Yeah, no. Which is, like, they're so funny. They they charge you like what fifteen percent on top of menu price, and then they tax you, and then they charge you the delivery fee, and it's just. I'm not having too bad of time with my wind bombs. Um, this is a lot further left than I want it to be, but... Okay, yeah, here's the shield right here. I think it should despawn. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna check it here in a second. Oh, I have my shield on, that's why it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's despawned. I don't have skew, so I don't need to worry about skew. Durability that I can. God, that clip is stupid. Question. Answer. No, what? Never mind. What, what's the question? Well, my thought was like, well, couldn't we theoretically just get skew on the shrine that we warp to? But then I'm thinking, how is that ever faster than just going towards the wall in front of it anyway? Oh. No, that that skew is super fast to get. I need a um. I don't know if. Make sure you clear Ragdoll here, either in the middle of the fight or before you leave. I remember telling you that, but I feel like you would have forgotten by now. Oh, I wanted to eat my attack up potion. All right, and I I didn't change anything. I didn't change my weapon. Didn't change my bow. I'm gonna actually not use the Great Eagle Bow for this. Save all the durability shots I can get. Is that worth it? I'm trying to think math. No, I'll just, I'll do it. I just won't use the Great Eagle for anything other than the boss fights. Whip. Equip. Tack up. Yep. So if I if I get a 995 buffalo chicken wrap, taxes and fees come out to four dollars and twenty cents, and then another fifty cents for delivery. Oh my god, he's still done one cycle. Not including tip. Does a maybe a tack up doesn't work on Koga? Wait, why did you use it on Kogo? Why didn't you use it on Meadow? Oh, that fight's free. I wanted to well, want... 
be... Oh, I wanted to one cycle him. It seems like it saved more time. Did it work? I don't think you would theoretically work. Look at that. See? Okay. 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 I just needed to get double hits on the first time, and my dumbass was not even aiming backwards for it. Okay. Clear ragdoll. Get fucked. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent character in Asia Calamity, if you know how to use him. Oh, you can play as him? Yeah. I mean, you can literally play as Calamity, so... Oh, really? He's a different form, because it's technically timeline and things pan out. Fair. I feel like Calamity would suck. He's not as good as he should be. Considering he uh, took over the world, you'd think he'd be OP, but... Yep. I mean, his gimmick, I think, the thing is that his base damage is really high, but his gimmick is like this rage meter that oh. like, basically you infect mobs with uh, malice, and then once you kill them, you absorb it, and then, you know, the meter fills up, and then you go into rage mode, and you just shit on everything. But the meter just doesn't charge fast enough. And it doesn't last that long, so the whole gimmick of his character just doesn't seem worth it. Which is a shame, because you have to grind pretty hard to get him. But there are some, there are a lot of other fun characters. Blink is fun. Um, your Bosa is super fun, in my opinion. Isn't Zelda, like, broken? If you know what to do... She has two... She has two forms. You have... Uh... Sheikah Slate... Sheikah Slate Zelda. And you have... You know, Awakened yeah. Zelda. I always hear that Sheikah Slate has, like, disgusting combos. Yeah. If you know how to abuse her mechanics... She just kinda... She kinda dump trucks. <laughs> she really does. Um, but like how you do it isn't obvious so casually she's really not fun up until you learn that and then you're like oh wow she's broken I don't I don't need the extra gale but I'm still gonna just play it safe I mean it's literally right here I'm confident in my wind bombs enough to waste 10 seconds Okay, now we go back here, which I actually activated, so I don't have to go back to the other one and redo the BLSS again. I do be like that. Need to make sure to have. Oh, do I even want to use Great Eagle Bow to get into Nagoras? I think so. I think that takes too long otherwise. Or maybe not. Does attack up count? Well, interest congratulations as you are officially a full Sonic Adventure 2 All Stories into your run. <laughs> and I'm not even through the second boss. Oh, I, I forgot to buy my... I think if I was playing Sonic and Leash, I'd be probably into... This girl um, definitely just said, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Hold on, let's see if she does it again. <laughs> what do you have so much money for? Um, 
because you need 600 for the the Goron chest and 420 for all the Shakos. But I'm also gonna. You don't need that. Now I can buy all of these. I don't know. I was gonna say, I can still buy another arrow. I don't need it, but am I gonna get it? Damn right I am. And it's actually better to cook him individually, but I'm still. Because how interesting new game plus category would be. Well, kind of boring because new game plus can get the bow of light. Technically. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, like a true new game plus. Bit, well, the, the difference would be that you'd still have to go through the plateau, but you'd have all of your runes anyway. You just you'd have to act. You'd have to do everything, but like you'd have the runes even to get there, so you could be or do whatever fancy stuff. I would know. I would like if you had nothing but like your runes and your glider, like you didn't have any of your equipment or your weapons or anything. I'd be fine with and that. Then, theoretically, you'd also have all your powers, so you'd have Revali's Gale also at the start. Yeah. If you can hit your... Because yeah. you have Runes, Glider, and, like, champion abilities, and when, um, Plateau movement would be really cool to see. But that route would be so different. Yeah. I like that you can see the camel just walking in the background there. Doosh, doosh, doosh. I didn't see any lag there, but... Precision gliding. I think if I miss like a shot or two, I'm gonna trade off to Great Eagle Bow maybe. But... Cause like the only thing we use the duplex bow for is one shot in Naboris and one shot in Ruda. Hey. Actually, that's a good point. Do you need three shots on these feet, do you know, or do you only need, like, two? I don't remember. I mean, you could feel free to pull out a regular bow and shoot it one by one if you want. I, I'm pretty sure you need more than one, but... I'm yeah, gonna... definitely more than one, but... I'm gonna try the duplex. Eh. Like I said, I'll, I'll go through the Great Eagle for four shots, and then if I miss, I'll just duplex my way out. Oh, grande obusa te prego, pregtegi. I assume that was Lady Urbosa, protector, protect us, or something like that. Hmm. Protego. Her character, uh, Vija's character in Calamity is also entirely based off of a seal, by the way. Off of a seal? Like, her, her entire kit right, is you running over models of enemies with a sand seal, pretty much. Uh, they, they really played her character down to the bare bones, then, didn't they? She's very niche, but when you get her to work, she's cool. I'm back here, Riju.
I've been meaning to like play Calamity again and buy the DLC for that game. Is the new DLC out yet, or are they? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the new DLC is out. Add some more story stuff, and then they add Robin and what's her face. They add, they add a guardian. You can actually play the guardian in the DLC. Was that it? Yeah. Cool. Good shots. Yeah, I saw you can play as the mini guardian. Yeah, I knew they were releasing new DLC this year for it as well. Okay, just... Yeah. Looks like we're going for a 120 Thunderblade again. Seems to be my... my time. Least favorite. East by far. Like, Fire Blight's least favorite fight. Uh, Nabor's least favorite blight, or uh, beast. Link almost just yeeted himself off the map. No, Link. Link's, Link's trying his best to kill himself right now. Stopped running there for a second. Yeah, let me just. I remember watching an all dungeons run in GDQ and they were talking about how important bow durability was. And I didn't believe I'm learning this route until I got to Elephant and all my bows were ready to break and I'm like, oh. Um, do we need to shoot this with the duplex or is it... Is there just a normal one? I don't know. Pretty clean Naboras. This fucking murder me now cutscene. Got to that part of the afternoon where I get really tired. <laughs> Even though it's not afternoon yet, but well. Mm. 
<laughs> Wait, is that safe? What the fuck? Yeah, you, you can just hit him twice and it knocks him off. Alright, well, gonna do that then. Yeah, save yourself some arrow shots and stuff. I mean, you can't avoid him. Yeah, but you can also just knock him off and then you don't have to worry about him shooting you in the middle of the fight. And I still have a Revales, but I'm going to use it in the second phase to get myself back up to the, the middle. Not bad. 453. Oops. Uh -huh. I was trying to pull out pull out my weapon. What you're supposed to do? Uh, that's what Tapir does. I don't know if you're supposed to. It normally, if you don't get hit that first time, he falls down on the ground, and it makes it really easy to shoot him. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had time to just yeah, shoot he, him another time. Yeah. <laughs> Now what? Oh, cool. Oh wow, okay. I did not think that was gonna kill. I'm gonna grab this extra heart too, just to heal. You know, that... If you have the extra um, thing to get you up, and if you hit him in that first phase, that fight's pretty trivial. Obviously, it's still easy to mess up. It's Thunderblade, but like... Nowhere near as bad as I once thought it was. Okay, it's... It's gonna be like a 114... Freaking Amber versus Fury split here. I need to heal. I'm just gonna eat one of those 12 heart durians now, anyway. And this is where I get really stressful because getting to Garan City and then getting to Yunobo is annoying. Don't take too much damage. Definitely. Also, take, take if off. you don't get the heart, it still shows up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you don't get any of the hearts, you can always teleport back to the beast and grab it. Oops. That's not the way you're supposed to be going, Link. You can see how off center I am. I'm gonna slow down for a little bit. There's just so many loads in this BLSS, it's annoying. I mean, you're loading, like, you're literally zooming across the entire map. So <laughs> I think that's cool. So we go kind of right here, 
but we're gonna want to go in kind of curving left. Oh, I'm really off center. <laughs> Let me slow down so I can. Because obviously you don't want to um, get speed capped while you are burning. this little thing yet. I don't know if this is high enough to get it's not. Fuck. Okay, get away from me, Bounds. <laughs> this is what I normally wouldn't bomb off of. I didn't even see this. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. I guess I'm aiming further left this time. Yeah, now these things fucking spawn. more damage than I wanted to take, but I'm in Goron City at least. I need to change these splits. Goron City to enter Udanya is such a long split. I need to do like free Unobo. Okay, now the shop is this bottom right building right in front of me here. Make sure not to. Where's this lizard at? Thank you. This is going to be a godsend. I don't actually know the first wind bomb here if you get this lizard, but I assume I can figure it out. Lizard monster part. Flame resist. Don't mind if I do. I assume I can just wind bomb off this probably. This is a turn wind bomb you're gonna have to do. Um, let me save. So you got a here. Get a little bit of a turn in. Lag stop, of course. Thank you, game. It's a weird turn. Normally, it's just um, as soon as you. Drop square bomb. Yo, power gamer Kai. Um, AD run is going. There we go. That's a really slow one, but let's see if we get there. Definitely not getting there. You can't super launch? Mm -hmm. I suppose you probably could. Off the lava. You could definitely, definitely VR the lava. I mean, you super launch off the lava later, but I know all you need to do is a turn wind bomb here. I mean, you might as well just practice it then. There we go. Kind of low, but I should still probably make it, being how fast this was. Please don't load, please don't load, please don't load, please don't load. Oh my god. You can learn the. 
Learn the, you can learn the shield clip. Yeah, there's an ESC through the back, but I, I don't know. I'm not good with ESCs. And I don't know where to get skew. I don't... I don't ever struggle with this turn. It's not a very, like, specific turn when bomb. It's just... Get speed. Ugh, again. You run bombs first in plateau and there's an ESC two minutes in. Oof. Bombs first plateau. Okay. Oh god, what the? This is not gonna work. I know. I'm just gonna reload. I don't care how many times I have to reload this. Yeah, right there. I almost kind of want to try to super launch. I feel like that'd be faster. Oops. Yeah, I missed it, but maybe. Maybe if I actually get the super launch, but... You had lag on like four frames. Yeah, and I just didn't press X fast enough. I like pressed B and then I like... Waited before I pressed X. I don't even think I need to like... <laughs> verify that I have lag either, just... Yep. <clears throat> lag stopped. Okay, maybe I do need to learn the CSC backup, but I don't know it right now, so we're just gonna... No, the super launch has to be possible. Oh, for sure, but... What the fuck? Okay, this run wasn't the best, but it wasn't going terrible until the part that I hadn't practiced yet. Who would've thought? <laughs> Again, really freaking low. Why is that so low? Oh my god. I really wish I just had this ESC. Slow wind bomb. I feel like I'm stuck in this awkward middle ground of slow wind bomb or low turn wind bomb. Do I need to do it from over here, maybe? Am I... Yep, that's the long fucking... Um... How long have we spent on this single one bomb? Uh, well, you entered at 117, so... About six, seven, six, seven minutes. This is working again. Nope. 
Maybe you could do like a midair. Left. Get you there extra fast. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm running out of ideas. We to pair our launches from here. Aims here. And this air blows up. I'm still really low. Eh, this might be high enough. Okay, okay. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, when I was doing it, oh, I didn't want to talk to you yet. I wanted to grab that stuff in the back. I don't know what's in those chests. Mm -hmm. I was curious. Oh well. But yeah, no. When I was practicing this, I never struggled with it. So whatever I was turning in practice just happened to be working. <laughs> practice something that's not precise, you're, you're not going to get precise results back. Yay, three more flameless potions. Oh well. If that's the biggest hiccup of this round, I'm, I would be happy. Other than cryo BTB. <laughs> I like that we don't watch any of Link's memories. We're just like, nope. <laughs> you are a man in women's clothing with a flameless chest plate on. Yeah, I, I don't even know what was going on with Cryo BTB. They just kept noticing me, and then I missed a fall damage cancel, and it just wasn't good. Okay, let's see if I remember these wind bombs now. shot where I was supposed to go. Um, backup strats, please. Let me see where I am. I'll be right back. I gotta grab food. Okay. Come here, boy. Cool. At least I'm not wasting great eagle shots. That's all I care about right now. TPH. Like. Oh, I need to talk to you? <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Talk to me. 
He's singing. Singing in the shower. Normally you wind bomb here, but yeah. that has to be one of the wind bombs that saves the least amount of time. Just gonna, cause you just wind bomb to the end of this bridge, like yeah, it cannot save that long, like. And there's a wind that like fights you, so like if you overshoot it, it's just a pain in the butt. Oh, well, I gotta mute for a sec. <laughs> Havoc over there barking. <laughs> skip this cutscene at all. They need to make these cutscenes skippable. Like, after you've unlocked master mode, you should be able to skip these cutscenes. Just saying. Probably just confused the heck out of you, Nobo. You know what, can you come? Forza, Forza Horizon! <laughs> Working on a BTB from Boko Camp by Magnesis to Temple of Time. Ooh. That's not, not an impossible one, it's one that we do on accident on Fear Pit, I feel like, but... I feel like it'd be weird to have to do intentionally. That, that Boko BTB, no matter where you're taking, it just sucks though. Do you need Gyro to hit them that hard? No. You can... You just use your D-pad and the... Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> uh, I completely even forgot this was a thing. But no, you, you can do it all on a... Oof. Freaking 
gyro aim would be nice though, but I definitely don't need it. I'm just gonna take this section slow because it's so easy to lose the box and then get crushed. Oh my god. As I was saying. Uh, I think you do need gyro for the moblins, but. Can I just. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good backup strat, I guess. <laughs> Just dragging his ass all the way down the fucking hill. Uh, is you know following me? Yeah, no, because you you have no other weapon to kill them with. If you have gyro, you can just smack them on the head and like one hit KO them. Um, but without gyro aim, you kind of just have to smack them three or four times. Using bonds to distract them. Hmm. That's actually pretty smart. Bokos, I would just never trust a Boko with my life. They're annoying, and that's why I learned the BLSS there instead. Oh, where are you two at, come here. I have no death perception, I can't tell where you're at. Yeah, normally you kind of put this thing to max range, you run up to it, you put it at max range, you run up to it, and like you keep repeating that, but... I per like you said, you have no damage if you don't have this box, so do not lose it. And if you get caught, they just kind of shoot at you, right? Yeah, they like fire the mountain at you. Not to have wasted that, but oh well. Okay, so here is my favorite part of this. These two uh, macablins, moblins, whatever the fuck they're called, I don't know. I really just need to turn on gyro aim. I have no reason not to. They don't really need to aim anything other than that. Okay, I mean, given that we set off the alarm, they could have been a lot worse. I, I definitely wanted to save that 12th art potion for fire blight, but I don't think I'm going to be taking too much damage in here anyway, so. Oh my god, it took me 23 minutes to enter. Yeah, I definitely need to change that split just to you no bow and enter. Split it up a little bit better. Oh yeah, so um, the reason why this fight is so fun is because you eat your attack up potion, so you lose your flameless potion. Yeah. Don't you just kind of have to know where to shoot in the dark as well? Um, yeah, but it's pretty trivial. I say that and I'll probably miss these shots, but it's like one corner of the room and the other corner and... You use a bomb that you need to blow something up with anyway to kind of see where you're looking for another thing and normal arrow 
games. Normally they they are using the Great Eagle Bow, but again, I just want to save. And if you use the Great Eagle Bow, it's pretty fucking free. But. Use a bomb again for light. What? There we go. But, like, no, you just have those two shots, and um, the last shot here, you actually have a visual cue for. I don't want the, that one. What the hell? Um, you change to the duplex bow, and you headshot this mini guardian. Uh, and typically the arrow goes straight to the one in the back corner, which is now slightly more to the left. I swear it's really not as bad as I made it look. No, um, it doesn't look that bad. Don't you get that chest or no? Um, you need a metal bow. We have the golden bow. Okay. You don't actually use... Oh, this is the reason this fucking beast sucks ass. This fucking shot is stupid precise and you have to do it incredibly fast so this flame doesn't run out. I don't think it's as precise as I think it is, but you do have to be able to do it really fast, otherwise the flame runs out. But yeah, no, you only use that metal bow for the BLSS to Ruta, because otherwise it burns up on your way there. I mean, you could just unequip your bow mid-flight. No, you stop. You can't with the BLSS. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about the... PTB. Nice. I don't look that bad. <laughs> I'm I'm very happy I got that first try. Probably looking at sub three hours here. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I really see going wrong at this point is like, um, if I die to fire blight, it might be kind of hard for me to back it up. Okay, there's the cutscene. What's the point of doing that? To open that. You just need to lift it up and just put it back down. Well, you, yeah, that ball rolls, and that's how you unlock that terminal. You, that's what the first shot is for to release the ball and. Yeah, and you can just crouch through that hole because. Good programming, I guess. I think I, I think I rotate back now. I think. I think that's how he fits in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then we drop down here, and then we rotate back again. Okay, and then I go up. I I don't need to eat this because I don't think I'm gonna take damage, but. Never gonna need it again, so why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no reason I need any. Um, we use shock arrows, which sucks, because you need to save at least 20. Um, so yeah, this fight, 
you immediately run back right, get bullet time, headshot him. You have to side hop off of this. You, right. you get bullet time, shoot him. It's just... Okay, so attack up. Then we want great eagle bow, which we can't let burn. Yeah. Nope. Well, on the bright side, his head is literally the size of the moon. Mm -hmm. But that's not the hard part about this fight. The hard part is not dying here. Which way you go, bro? And making sure all of your um, I have four headshots. Oh god, did I still have 20 arrows left there? I didn't even pay attention. Watch me be like one shot arrow short. Yes, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. That was by far the part I was worried the most about in this run. And I think Great Eagle Bow should still have a great durability. I've only used it on the fights. This run? I mean, literally other than that wind bomb and cryo BTB has been pretty clean for me. I definitely need to like watch more runs and just kind of clean my movement up, but twenty shock arrows, cool. Put the golden bow on. I didn't end up needing the shield at all, but... I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the rogue's protection. Oh, you can just turn it off? Yeah. What the fuck? You can literally disable any of them. And the funny thing is, the one useful champion ability we get, Mifas, we can't ever use because we don't have another fight after. This run is pretty free from here on out. Ironically enough, one of the things I struggled with the most in this segment was getting the first wind bomb towards the waterfall. Because we we get it off of like the statue, which is just weird. Um. So many cutscenes now. Yeah, we, we literally go talk to them, they tell us about being a Zora, and yada yada, and then they give us the Zora armor, and then they're like, go collect those arrows, and then we, we're like, oh hey, we got those arrows. I didn't know proving, proving your worst would be such a trivial task. <laughs> we, we bought the shock arrows from Gerudo Town. <laughs> but the game pretty much, like, 
pushes you to this to be your first divine beast. Huh. Putting you over to Kakariko and then like This is definitely being first makes a lot of sense though. Yeah, it's the most defensive, it's the most casual friendly. It has the most story. And the side quest introduces you, int like, eases your way and introduces you to the Lionel. The line, yeah, into Lionel, into collecting, into stealth tactics, like... Mm, yeah. Like, I discovered the Lionel organically. I thought it was a fucking horse. <clears throat> so I just walked up to it, said hi, and got shitted on. <laughs> I'm gonna do myself a favor and save before the enter Ruta sequence, just in case I use too many shots and I need to like reload all of Ruta or something. I don't think I should, but what's the harm? Mm. <laughs> what is that sound? I think so far, our three beasts of mine have been pretty clean, right? Like, I don't think anything while I've been in the dungeons has been too bad. I think you spent, you spent most of your time being stuck in one place just getting the wind bomb. Yeah. Now we talk to them and go through more cutscenes. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, we have to wind bomb off this Mipha statue, and for some reason I just get lag stopped a ton, and it's, I struggled to get bullet time a couple times for sure. No, but Siphon, I think his name, the guy that does like the smile, his mm -hmm. character Clint is like super fun. Love his mm -hmm. character. Especially his bomb, his bomb room attack is like mm -hmm. the best, like the most satisfying one of like the whole cast. Huh. You basically throw a bomb, you throw like three bombs in the air, and then you like quick time event them, and then you just fucking whack them like it's a fucking baseball. Uh. <laughs> Super fun. I'm gonna play that game again. If you're getting waxed up, make sure to look down. I'm pretty sure I was looking down, it's just this area with the rain and all the water is pretty damn laggy. I guarantee you I struggled to get bullet time for the first like two or three tries here. Uh. This, is, this is also the only um, huh? like champion versus modern day champion who are different genders. Like Sidon and Mifa are different genders, but um, Riju and Urbosa are the same. Bomb Arrow Dude and Rivali are the same. <laughs> don't know what Bomb Arrow Dude's name is. Mipha and Sidon are the only siblings. Okay. I think. I don't know how Riju is related to Urbosa. Or, Yun or Yunbo. I thought he was just kind of a... Because in Calamity, they don't really recognize each other. But Mifa and Sidon recognize each other immediately. Uh, Spoilers, by the way, but... Can I, can I oh. just reload that? <laughs> way too far left. All right. I am sure I could just wind bomb my ass up otherwise. You know those Daruk's grandchild? That could make sense. I thought, he, got power I thought, I thought he was the Elder's grandchild, but... He could... I don't know. Well, Jeruk fucked. 
Farouk fucked the elder? What? No. <laughs> Saying you gotta you gotta have intercourse somehow some way to have a child you know. Um. Well, I guess this technically got me to where I needed to be, so we we consider that a win. <laughs> Improv. Um. Yeah, we want those. Uh. No, no. The first shot I'm gonna use the duplex bow for. Because you have to sh shoot the first ice block in order for it to... In order for you to, like, get the cycle in time to try to shoot the first one early, and it, it's just a mess. This is definitely one of those things that's going to be hard to do until you learn it, and then it's going to be easy, but... Oh, I forgot to switch to cryo. Ugh. That's what I was trying to switch to. <laughs> I knew I needed to switch something. Oh, my Yonbo in. I know Yonbo in um, Calamity Dopey. Way better than Garou than uh, Garou for some reason. It's a waste of a shot, but... How do they do that in one shot? Um, you get the first, the first one um, on your way up, and then you get the other three. But I think this is fine. He like started the attack cycle while I was in the air. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with the two cycle like that. That's fast. Oh, I forgot to skip or split on Zoras. Again, kind of a useless split, but. I mean, what do you wait for? Can't, why can't you just run up and do it? Uh, you don't control. Um, Siphon. Uh -huh. Yeah, Siphon will only move in after you destroy all of the attacks. And like I said, he started like the phase two attacks while I was still midair there, so like I guess that was optimizing backup strats. What if in Breath of the Wild 2 they do some Power Rangers shit where, like, the, the Divine Beast still exists and to defeat the next Ganon entity they have to, like, combine into the super mech? No. It's gonna be something stupid where, like, you have permanent weapons because everyone bitched about weapon durability and so, like, your only weapons are gonna be your hand or something like that and the Master Sword. That'd be really funny if you could use your hands, just fucking punch people in the face. Well, you know how the, like, possessed hand that he has? Mm. Yes. That, that's my prediction, is that they're gonna use that hand for all of his permanent weapons and... Um... I suppose it doesn't matter which arrows I use anymore, but... Um, eyeball. This is really aw all of Root is really awkward without motion controls. Both times that you have to do that, it's really bad.
Okay, oop. Got it. We need one like there-ish. God, I have to remember which freaking tusks to, or positions to move this shit to. I know I need it all the way up at the start. Bravo. Ora guarda che riconquista coraggio. further out. I let you and my dog sit next to me in my office chair. Okay. Ever. That lowers my chair height. <laughs> uh. And I think. <laughs> I don't... Maybe I don't want to look down for this one. As I look down. <laughs> okay, this is annoying me. A wind bomb should not be the hard part about this. Seriously, like, what is going on here? Which way do I need to be looking for this? Let me, let me just like temporarily pause around and pull up to Piers. Does he look down? Yeah, he like hardcore looks down. Interesting. Square bomb. What if there's a malice rune? Mmm. There we go. Cool. Okay, now just don't mess up this wind bomb. Easiest wind bomb of your life. You said it. What I tell you? <laughs> what I tell you? Didn't even flip. Uh, I think it's this one I want to go to now. It's this one I wanted to go to. Nope. It's this one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought the water was going to put it out immediately. No. Oh, fireworks. This way? Resta 
You know, I don't actually even know how to do water blights fight properly. Oh god, I need to wait a whole other second here. Because last time I did it, like I said I didn't have... I assume I just fucking bomb arrow and electric arrow his face. That seems to be kind of the general strat for these fights. Yeah, you make the ice block for bullet time and then you just shoot arrows. And I'm gonna not eat this one super early because I believe we use this potion for Ganon as well. Let me actually. I don't know. Into the 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 fight chamber. Yep. <laughs> That's convenient. Well, we we do two wind bombs, but yeah, for the most part. Is that perfect? No, it doesn't matter. No. I just need one shot with the Great Eagle Bow and one bomb arrow. That's all I need left. Now he just gives me platforms. Oh god. That is uncomfortably close. Yeah, that's why I try to jump away and get bullet time, but. I guess that works. Well, oh, yeah, let me just... No. <laughs> yeah, I... Why do I even bother getting bullet time there? It don't matter. Okay, we definitely don't need this heart. Yeah, now there's just like two wind bombs up the mountain, and then you get bullet or BLSS, and then you just get into the Ganon's chamber. Um, I see most of them load a memory just to make sure that Ganon's actually loaded. This will definitely be my 230 like goal, so I'm fine with that. Link. 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 Grazie per aver recuperato tutti i colossi sacri e liberato gli spiriti God, she says this line so fast. Ora staranno aspettando il momento della tua battaglia contro Ganon al castello di Irule. E poi anche io ti aspetto. I know normally you do two wind bombs, but I just need to be up there, so I'm just gonna fucking run it. I don't. I forget where the second one's even to. At this moment in time, I am just complacent to finish a run, so let me just finish a run. Uh, this tree. It gives me like severe anxiety BLSSing with a bomb arrow. I don't know if that's just me. I thought I got it off the. There we go.
have to get there in a minute. Maybe I'll cook one attack potion slightly longer next time, just... You are now one Sonic Unleashed world record into your run. Any percent. Uh. I'm also now like 40 minutes over... 45 minutes over world record for this category. It's like a 134, 135 nowadays. Damn, this attack up potion is going to be tight. I'm out of this load. It should load the castle cutscene. Yep. And now I save. Oops. Nope. <laughs> Two seconds left on the attack of timer. Please tell me that just works. <sighs> oh, also, um, headphone users, if this works, you might want to um, turn down your volume. Come on, Ganon, please just scream. I don't. I don't want to have reload and have it send me all the way back to Zora's domain or something. <laughs> I guess I could probably fight Ganon. You could. <laughs> uh, I don't see him. Cause you could stun lock him with the. Uh... Oh. Uh. Where's the screams at Ganon? Come on, please, please scream, please, 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 please. No. How close are you to dying? Oh. Oh. That's free. <laughs> Commentator's curse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I will take that. We'll take it. <laughs> All things considered, yeah. Oh, I forgot to split for Hyrule again. Whatever. I like how we we're both just like, oh shit, I missed it, and then we both went, oh. <laughs> Screw you, pig. Should be the sub 220 as well. Come on, something just like clip inside him and kill him. Oops. I think he's gonna turn, but... 
Come on, just... No, uh, damn it. I'm not used to the Italian text, so... That'll be my excuse for messing that up. Turning the right way. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with this time. Considering our first rough estimates was like four hours, this is definitely better than that. And like I said, especially considering how little I practiced the end. My, my goal was 2.30, I got that goal. 